Hi, everyone. It's Friday, and thus, we are here to rank another batch of 8-bit Nintendo games. I'm Jeff Gerstman, and I'm here to help you navigate this the madness uh, that is the Nintendo Entertainment System. This week's batch is, uh, it feels like an especially we weird uh, group of games. There are two games on this list that I had never heard of. And uh, two games on this list that I am I'm aware that they exist, but I don't know that I've ever played them. And so, we're going to uh, delve into this once again. Uh, the, the list is getting, uh, I was going to say it's getting long, but obviously it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a lot longer here. We have uh, 223 games ranked so far across the 32 episodes of this program. And here we are for episode 33. Will a game be worse than Operation Secret Storm? I find that hard to believe. If we're being real. Will any of these games be better than Bionic Commando? I... Mm, mm. I suppose anything's possible. But we've got an emerging middle here. You know, there's there's different neighborhoods across this list, and and the the games are kind of all falling into place. Um, if you want to help influence the list, you can sign up for Patreon, join the Gerstman Advisory Panel by going to Patreon.com/slash Jeff Gerstman and uh, find out more about that. And uh, all of today's games are brought to you by the Advisory Panel, who have advised us on. Uh, well, uh, an interest, an interesting looking batch of games, I guess. <laughs> this is one I, that we're going to start with one uh, that I, I've wanted to do for a little bit here. Um, and so uh, I'm excited to, to get to it. Let's see here. Uh, there's, there's me and there's that. Okay. Another one of these early first party games um, that I always thought was a cool arcade game, but <laughs> in the years since, and when I think about where this game eventually kind of fell and, you know, where, where, where it stands up in the, the annals of history and all of those sorts of things. It's, it's sort of a weird one. But here's Popeye. Nintendo had the Popeye license, and, uh, you know, there was a... Uh, if you... The, the the stories are, are that uh, Donkey Kong was initially meant to be something of a Popeye game, and then they moved away from that, but still were looking to make a Popeye game, and so they eventually did. I played a lot of this game on my Atari 400. Um, because, as it says here, 1982... <laughs> this game is, uh, you know, uh, of the vintage of a Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. And, and, and all of that sort of thing in arcades. I can punch. Let's see if we can get him right off the bat. Come on back. Oh, we messed. We screwed that up. Can't let these hearts get to the bottom. They will eventually break and we will die. And as you see the house in the upper left corner, it is filling with hearts as I collect these hearts. And I get more points for collecting the hearts higher up on the stage. And as long as uh, Bluto is going to be kind of dumb about it, we can kind of get it done, but... Uh, mm -mm. 
Now, this game right now uh, has a difference from the the arcade original in that this ladder uh, didn't go all the way down. And I imagine if you play on game B or something that maybe that's the case. It's kind of a... Uh, they made it a little easier here because you could not go back up the ladder. You could go down, but you could not go back up. Okay, and now... Uh, here on stage two. I, I like stage one of Popeye, and I feel like the game kind of falls apart after that, because in a lot of cases, these levels just get a little over-designed. Um, oh. Now, I can't really even do anything to him. Like, it is a... There, there's It's a Pac-Man situation uh, right now where... It, you know, I, I can only really avoid him. Man, killing it. The vultures got her. I don't know if I can punch... I don't think I can punch the vultures. Okay, we punched the bird. Oh. oh, he can just walk across those... Fuck you. You ain't even got to punch him. You just touch him. I can't even use this ladder that I'm building until it's built. All right, here we go. Last ladder. Oh. Gotta say, that's maybe the best I've ever done in a game of Popeye in my life. The ladders look bad here. There, the 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 stairs uh, look bad on the on the boat. I think they look pretty bad even in the arcade version. Yeah, check that shit out. Oh, now we've just got skulls? I didn't have to do that, but... You know, he was trapped in the barrel. Why wouldn't I? Got the sea hag up there. Throwing skulls at us. Normally, she would appear from the sides of the screen and throw more bottles at you the way he's doing right now. That was uh, her primary role in the arcade version of the game, but for whatever reason... Oh. But basically, like, there's nothing to be gained by, like, getting behind him. I can't punch him. I can't, you know, unless, until, unless I get the spinach, which is only good once per stage. Um, you kind of can't really, there's, there's no real benefit.
Okay. All right. Ah! He stopped throwing bottles and then immediately dove down at me. That's messed up. So kind of the other feature in this stage uh, is this, uh, this. And if we hit Sweepy up there, we get some bonus points. Popeye is a fucking weird. Popeye is weird. I Maybe that's a parent, but. <laughs> What the? This motherfucker dragon punched me. I'm gonna have to give him what for. That's right. Popeye. You know, it's it's a decent this is a decent port of Popeye. Um Yeah, I don't know the 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 um yes, the the difference between Bluto and Brutus, it's kind of I don't know. I don't know when they changed it or why they changed it. Um, the, the the Popeye lore is uh, is beyond me, but I think Bluto is a, just a better name. <laughs> Should have named my son Bluto. Now that I'm thinking about it, really screwed that up. Um, Popeye is just a strange, like you know, the 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 concept is not strange. It's like, oh, here's two guys fighting over a lady, and one is. Clearly evil. <clears throat> but like Popeye is like an agent of chaos. I don't, you know, but like Popeye's, I don't know. Popeye never struck me as like a paragon of virtue. Not to say that he's a bad guy. He, he does what's right. He, you know, he, he does, you know, he does what's right. But, uh, I don't know. He's just a, such a he's a such a weird chaos agent. He's just a, he's gonna have his spinach and then get strong. He's gonna talk fucking crazy. Uh, he's a sailor, and so he's probably. I mean, you know, like he, when, why does he talk like that? Is it's it's because he's got syphilis. He is constantly has a pipe in his mouth. Game B, I, I thought maybe Game B would uh, remove the the ladder, uh, but I guess it just kind of starts us at a uh, more advanced stage where the where the skulls are already dropping. Anyway. That's Popeye. I have a, yeah, I have a, a warm, nostalgic feeling for that game. But uh, I, I think when we look at it in the context of some of the other stuff that was hitting arcades at the time, um, 
you know, Donkey Kong is just a better game. Donkey Kong Jr. is a better game. You know, Nintendo themselves were doing uh, better games on than than Popeye. And uh, while it's cool that because they had the license and they eventually returned and, and did make a Popeye game, and at the time it looked nice, like the the sprites in 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 the arcade version of Popeye had a a. a a, a really nice look to them compared to some of the other games of its era. Um, but like, I, you know, I don't know, like it, it's, it's not an amazing video game, uh, but I sure did play it a lot. Uh, it's a night. Nice, yeah. It's a nice little thing. I don't know. It, it is, uh, you know, it's a tier or two below uh, the, the greatest games of that arcade era. And so that, that, you know, when we find ourselves, now ranking a port of that game it's nice that it's a good port of the game though it doesn't have it, it's it's missing the the sea hag coming out from the sides and throwing bottles like that that was from the start of the game those are your two antagonists it's bluto running around doing bluto things and it's the sea hag popping out to throw bottles um and so it, it's weird that it doesn't have that i don't know you know a sprite limitation or something with this version of the game but also then they they made the ladder long and uh and and that gives you in that in that first stage that gives you a, a lot more mobility than you had in the in the original than than in the original game which is sort of weird um so yeah i don't i don't know it's it's kind of this weird it's kind of a weird version of the game um but where does that go on our list of ranked NES games? Well, as I said, I don't think it's nearly as good as Donkey Kong. So I think we're we're kind of starting with that as our ceiling for sure. But at the same time, um, I would take King's Knight. I would take King's Knight over Popeye for real. Uh, I would take Baseball for real, for real. Uh, what about Donkey Kong 3? Donkey Kong 3 is another kind of weird game. Um, in the post-Donkey Kong era. Hmm. I, I watched a lot of Popeye. It was in, I, think, I feel like it was impossible to not watch a lot of Popeye as a kid. Uh, in, in the, in the eighties, it just felt like every day after school, you would just find some fucking Popeye and Popeye would be on before the cartoons you wanted to watch were on or whatever. Like Popeye was ubiquitous and it was all the cartoon, ancient cartoons from like the fucking, you know, forties or you know, whatever, all these old ass Popeye cartoons, um, because there were, and then they in the eighties and then in the nineties, I think they eventually started remaking Popeye. Much like Tom and Jerry got a bunch of like weird reboots. Like Popeye started getting stuff like that too, where you know his like nephews or sons or whoever the hell they were, Pipeye, Poopeye, and Popeye. Yeah, Poopeye. Um, were around, and. uh yeah, I don't know. You just you you ended up with a whole lot of Popeye in your life, whether you wanted it or not. And uh, you know, it, Popeye's fine. Like I, I don't have any. I, I I take no issue with Popeye. I just like in in the pantheon of cartoons that were on when I was a kid, Popeye is maybe one of the ones that you look at and go like, this is just fucking weird. Um, like Popeye is, and and eventually, like eventually, Popeye got weird because. Like they introduced Jeep, which was a like a, a a alien character or something. Like they they were like, but that wasn't it. That those weren't on very often. And so I don't know. Yeah, Popeye. I, yeah, was Jeep a genie or a, a a alien or what the fuck was? What the fuck was Jeep? I don't know. Popeye's. Popeye is cool. Popeye is fucking weird. Um, but is Popeye better than Donkey Kong 3? Is the question we're actually asking here. I, mm. I, 
I don't know, man. Like I, I I'm gonna say, uh, scientifically speaking, Donkey Kong Three might edge it out. Hmm. Stanley the Bugman. It's got Donkey Kong in it. You shoot Donkey Kong and his nuts. Donkey Kong Three is a pretty good game. I mean, it's 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 better than Popeye. Is Popeye better than Solstice, the quest for the staff of Demnos? I don't think Popeye's as good as Karate Champ. Is Popeye better than Dino Wars Destruction of Spondulus? Hmm. Hmm. No. No, I guess I guess not. Um but Popeye is better than Thrilla's Safari. Is Popeye better or worse than Spelunker? Popeye is worse than Spelunker. Worse is such a, a nasty way of putting it, but less good than, I don't know. Uh Episode 33. Da, 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 da. Congratulations to Popeye, our new number 134. I, I love Popeye, but it, you know, I think we, if we really look ourselves in the mirror and say, why do we love Popeye? And do we love Popeye more than Donkey Kong? for example. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I want to watch a lot of Popeye. I went out and acquired a whole lot of Popeye cartoons and then thought better of it than to actually watch any of them. I was like, oh, no, I can't do that. And that's... Um... This is a game, I, you know, I am familiar with later games in the franchise to a certain extent, but I don't have a lot of knowledge of it. Ian suggested this one. And, uh... It's known as Hydlide. Push button! Push button! It's nice to play Hide Light in a real and liminal space and not in some kind of virtual world. Oh shit! Are you turn that lady into three fairies? That's the, I mean, is that a bad thing? Okay, let's let's play the game. I'm this little dude. Okay, we've got a menu. It would seem that if I hold down the A button, defend turns to attack. So I'm guessing I need to hold down the attack button and rub up against these slimes. Oh! And then just in a box on the side of the screen, it merely says, Monster. We died. Game over. Yeah, if I hold, the, if I, if I don't hit, hold down A, and just bump up against them, then we we just eventually die. Boy, you don't really have a lot of life, huh? Ah, okay. Now we're moving. The B button doesn't seem to do anything. 
my oh, my life seems to recover. Okay. That rock is moving. I like that the music speed is not consistent. this rock, I guess. If these slimes would stop getting in here and fucking things up. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, God! How do I load my game? That's pleasant. Is it just like an in-game... Oh, no, okay. That's a very clunky... That's a very... This is... This, is, this game is, is questionable. <laughs> in a lot of ways. Uh, this game also just has the vibe of a game that got ported straight off the MSX. It is, uh... Fucking... Simple, let's say. I can't get there because the rocks are in the way, so... Oh, God. Oh, here's a hole in the ground. Why is my health not recharging anymore? Oh yeah, is this like originally a, a PC 8000? Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that makes sense. Reminds me of, uh, a, it's like they took Tower of Druaga and made an open world kind of thing. Oh, okay. Oh, Shh, fuck that. I can barely beat these slimes. You want me to fight guys with actual fucking armor? Only one save slot. Oh God. All right, so the octopus creatures are, uh... It doesn't seem like there's a way, like, when you die to, like, call up that menu and load your game. You have to physically go back in here, and then hit this, and then hit this, and then, like, it's... Yeah, this, this feels like someone played a lot of Tower of Draga and then said, I've got an idea! I got a pot. Should have saved. Man, I only get one save slot. What is this, Dragon's Dogma? Boom! We gotta get that pot. Ah! Yeah, like, if I could stop right here and just reload the game, or if there was a load function on the that other menu, that would be nice. Oh, this is not the way at all. Oh, do I still have the pot? Wait. 
No, nothing. Is the chest gone? There it is. Ah! Roper! Boom! Get roped! I can't fight no Roper, right? There's no... Okay, yeah. So I, I cannot... I simply cannot fight Roper. If there were any Furlies in here... Oh, what the... Well, great. Well, great. make a, a, a bad choice here. Hey! Now what does the pot do? <laughs> you must not heal in the forest. You must have to... Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you. Yeah, now that I'm on a clear tile. Uh, 
da 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 If we save here, we can just go window open. It says. Oh yeah, Lady Yam gave me the business. Lad Yam. Okay. Like, I am no stronger than I was at the start of the game. And I just died to two slimes. Am I just meant to grind? Is this is this a game of bumping and grinding? Cuz I do think there is something wrong with that. This game is terrible, and I am feeling myself becoming very slowly obsessed with it. game is a nightmare, but... As soon as I fill this fucking experience bar, I'm gonna be the most powerful thing in the kingdom and just like waltz through the rest of the game, right? Like that's, I'll never have to do this again. Certainly, uh, this is not a game where uh, the vast majority of your time is spent fucking grinding like a lunatic. After this, we'll be able to get onto the game. We're gonna go kill some ropers after this. We're gonna level up and then murder every roper because we'll be so powerful. This is, uh, you know, when I was talking on the podcast this week about sometimes it's fun to cheat in games, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it'd be interesting to kind of see this thing and pick it apart and pull it apart and and figure out, like, okay, what do they expect you to do? Um, like, what was the intended experience? And as I subvert that, what am I finding? Like, like what am I uncovering about the way they built, like, the, the difficulty ramp in this game? Oh, that's too much. We'll we'll die on high speed. Oh, 
why would you play The Legend of Zelda when you've got Hydlide right here? Dun 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 dun! me shift gears you see me hold down that a button and run at you you see it move from defend to attack and then here i come what are you gonna do kobold jack shit man Can't fucking stop me i hope there's a really elaborate level up sequence too like you know just a 10 minute cutscene. You're now the most powerful figure in the kingdom. These ropers ain't got shit on you. I'm not going to warn you when I'm running up on you. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh, well, that was it. We leveled too, so, uh, okay. When I hit B, the turn button, I don't... Turn lit up. I don't know what that means. I hit both buttons and it made a fucking noise and then all my magic drained out. Uh, yeah, do we turn undead? Is that what it is? Am I a fucking cleric over here? It literally makes them turn around. Okay. Well, I, uh, I. <sighs> Are we strong enough to fight this rock yet? I'm going to guess no. Nope. I wonder if this game, did this game have battery backup? Probably not, right? It, these saves are probably, probably just. You guys like video games? I don't. I used to. But now I just like Hyde Lied. Ha <laughs> 
You know, maybe, uh, you know, when I get the fire spell, maybe that's something that eventually will light up those underground areas, I assume. And so I'm just merely meant to not go there yet. But, like, also, this whole game feels like I'm not meant to go anywhere. There's a hole under the castle. Hey, there's lighting in here. Now we're, now we're getting somewhere. Except, uh, you don't recover life. You don't recover life when you're standing, uh, inside the dungeon. And apparently I died. I... I, I like that it doesn't load your say. Like, it's just like... Ba -da 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 -da. The music gets better uh, every time I hear it loop. We're just eating these fucking slimes up, dog. Feels good. Those slimes were a real challenge. And now, you know, I, I can't infinitely kill them or anything, but we're mowing them down. Does this count as, as good ground? No. Does this? Oh, God. This is just like real life, man. If you're camping somewhere, a slime might... This is Dragon's Dogma 2. This is Dragon's Dogma 2. If you have a camp and the monsters are nearby, they might interrupt you while you were camping. Just like Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, here we go. Now we're gaming. No, we're gonna go get this chest. Okay. So we can't, uh, we, we can't quite beat the zombies. Head up. Oh, uh, okay. Eh, that made him turn around. And then they turned back around and fought me some more. I can't open this chest. I cannot open. I can't even open this chest. I can't even open this chest. I wish that turn was turn undead. If I could make all those guys go away. Oh, hey, oh. I, okay. We got a cross. Maybe that's good in the... Is my character's name Jim? Is that why the achievements are... Ah! Ooh. Okay, the items don't seem to be usable. Jim. Well, according to Jim... Okay, the, the cross allows us to damage vampires. Okay, so it's not going to help us in this zombie scenario that we find ourselves in. I hate this. I, this game is incredible. Ugh. This game is bad, but I know, I know how this is going to go for me. This is like my kind of bad game.
And, uh, you know, the problem with uh, hardcore retro achievements is that uh, I can't really do save state and load state stuff. So, if this game really doesn't have true battery backup, then my save's going to disappear as soon as we stop playing. Oh yeah, passwords, it has passwords. Right, passwords. They thought of everything. Geniuses! The genius developers at TNE Soft! Or FCI, whoever. No, 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 no. Or stay out of the hole. I bet this game, uh, when it came out on Japanese home computers, must have seemed fucking revolutionary. Like, this has to be, like, one of the first action RPGs, right? Like, you certainly wouldn't have, like, an East without something like this. And then, all, in turn, this game wouldn't really exist, I, I'm guessing, without the, the weird popularity of Tower of Druaga, which I find to be an impenetrable mess of a video game. Uh, but also, and, and, and that I'm flabbergasted by how, like, popular that game, that arcade game was in Japan. Uh, Druaga is just a fucking weird... But it's like fascinating. It's a lot like this in that it's like a it's it's fascinating as like this weird early example of where these games might go. Oh. We're just gonna level up one more time and then and then I'm gonna stop. Oh we did. We did level up. These guys are just getting fucked now. I'm not even getting XP from them anymore. Oh, that's the worst news in the world. <laughs> that, like, I don't even get XP from fighting the slimes anymore. Oh, no. Well, that surely that means we can go kill this rock now, right? Ah, no, no. Hotkeys. I thought I turned them all off. That rock fucked me up, dude. I'm going to have to grind out, and I can't even grind against the slimes and kobolds anymore. I'm going to have to... We've got to find a new grinding spot. Hide lied. Who would? Huh? That seems like something that's uh, a real. Um... When did this come out in the U.S.? What's the date on this? It says eighty-six. T and E Soft eighty-nine. 89, dude! 
Pony Canyon, come on. That's like a crazy, the, the idea of this game coming out in 1989. Um, that many years later, that many years post Zelda, all of that stuff. The idea that like someone in the US got it in their head that like, no, we need to bring Hydlide over in 89. And they thought that it was going to like be competitive in the market. Um, like this ancient looking fucking Japanese computer game that got an NES port and, and all of that, like the idea that it came to the U S in 1980 freaking nine, a game from like 84, if not earlier, uh, yeah, it is 84 on Japanese computers. And then, yeah, like it, it's. It can't have done well, but like, you know, if you think about it, the NES had gained so much mainstream popularity by 89 that I bet there were publishers who were just like, fuck it, man, bring everything. Like we will, we'll make money. Like, you know, there's not a ton of text in it, so I'm sure it was like a pretty easy localization. Um, yeah, DuckTales came out in 89. That's a good, yeah, River City Ransom, like the, the, the sorts of games that were coming out in 1989. Hide light is not when when did I, I'm gonna look here real quick just to satisfy my curiosity. When did the NES version come out in Japan? Um, here we go. So eighty six in Japan. So that's like a couple years. You know, it was late eighty four. On the the PC, I guess eighty oh one the eighty eight oh one also uh, you know supported that as well. So we'll just we'll just say that because it's more fun to say eighty eight oh one MSX in eighty five. That makes a lot of sense. I came to the FM seven in eighty five as well. Which uh, okay, there was an, apparently an MSX two re release of it later in eighty five, and that version went to Europe as well. Marking the first, like, Western version of Hydlight, I suppose. A PC-98 version in 85. And then that Famicom version was 86, and then that came to the, the U.S. in June of 89. June of 89. And then, and then now it's on the Switch. It's on the Switch as of late last year. Fascinating. Uh, this version came to Japan as Hydlide Special in 86. Um, but when FCI brought it over, they just called it Hydlide. Um, in the Kingdom of Fairyland, three magic jewels were enshrined in the palace to maintain peace in the kingdom. One day, an evil man broke into the palace and stole one of the three magic jewels. Without the third jewel, the two remaining jewels lost their magic sparkle. The magic spell that sealed the power of Varels, Varelis, the most vicious demon in the kingdom, was broken. During the turmoil which followed, the last two jewels were stolen. Varelis cast a special magic on Princess Anne, turning her into three fairies, and hid her somewhere in the kingdom. He then let loose a horde of monsters across the land and became the ruler of the kingdom. The young knight Jim stood up and took action to restore peace in the kingdom. He bravely made his way into the wilderness in full armor to fight the monsters. Oh yeah. And then apparently he was indeed the creator of the game was indeed inspired by tower of Draga. Yeah, that makes sense. Black Onyx. Huh? Yeah. All right. Hide lied. It's got a charm to it, but like, you know, in, in a world that had seen, in a world, in a, on a platform that had seen games like Dragon Warrior, um, The Legend of Zelda, like the, the role-playing experiences, action or otherwise, that you could find on this platform, you know, from a comparison standpoint, um, this is insane. Like it's a, it's a, me it's a, it's a, not a, it's not a mess. It, it's just, it, it is a port of a game that like it, it, you look at it and you go, oh yeah, this, 
this is an MSX game right here. And sure enough, it did come to ammo. I wonder if, if the, uh, if, if this version of the game is, is more directly ported from the MSX game as opposed to that PC 88 original. Um, that's, that would be relatively easy to check. Shiny over on the discord has a picture of something Hideo Kojima once tweeted. However, I was shocked when I first saw Hyde Lied on PC, which had the world there. I hope you can feel the same in open world Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, but I, I see. Sure. Sure. So this is where we have to kind of separate things, right? I think I might have fallen in love with that game. Also, I don't think it's a great game in the context of the NES platform. In the context of North American NES releases, um, it is beyond basic. It's a, it's a game that, you know, like if it came out at launch of the, of the platform, it would still feel like a little like, oh, this is, this feels crusty. Um, hmm. but it's a better game than solstice the quest for the staff of demnos it's uh it's a better game than nes play action football king's knight is in a weird way i think i feel like a shared connection between those games in terms of they both feel like fucking MSX games. But King's Knight is a better game. Eight, Eight Eyes is a better, is a better game as well. Um, like if we're, if we're being real with ourselves, um, but yeah, highlight is you know it, it is a. Uh, It seems fine. It, it, it feels like a product of its era. And I think if we, if we try to remove that from it, then that's how we, we, it ends up down here. I think if we were adjusting for like, well, this is a, a enhanced port of a game from 84 and, and gave it those kinds of crutches, I think it would be, you would start rating it on its importance as opposed to its actual quality, you know? Uh, and it would do much better, I think, in that context because of because of how early it was and and what it represents and and so on and so forth. Like clearly, that game is is like a fucking landmark event for Japanese video game players, you know. And it's one of those games that by the time it came here, that you're like, well, all right, it didn't come here for years after, and until years later. And by the time it came out here, all of the games that were influenced by it had come out. And those games had come and gone. And so as a result, you're looking at it like two generations removed and going like, well, yeah, fuck this game. Um, so, you know, we're, we're trying to remove some of that context here and just kind of create a list of games for the platform. Uh, I think that there's still like kind of a lot to like about it, though. Um, like it's not, it, it's not bad. It's just simple, you know? Um, but at least it has the ability to save and it has its passwords and, and like from a progression standpoint, like being able to save anywhere in a weird way, being able to save anywhere is like kind of a big deal. Maybe not by 89, but, uh, but just popping up, up in a menu and doing a quick save is sort of a, a, still a weird concept for this specific console. Um, it's 
So it, it's it's not as good as King's Knight. But it's better than Solstice. Uh, I think it's more interesting than like a middling port of Spy Hunter. That's for sure. Um, but it's no Gyromite. Is it better or worse than Anticipation? It's worse. Okay. There you go. There you have it. I'm going to fucking play the rest of Hyde Light, aren't I? Man, what a bummer. <laughs> what a bummer. I have so many other games to play, and now I'm just like, well, that that's all sidetracked now because I have to play. Like I, I'm, I'm going to spend evenings playing fucking Hyde Light. A lot of retro achievements to get, you know? I mean, can I really, could I really approach Virtual Hide Light if I hadn't played through Hide Light Special? I don't think so. Um, let's move on. Thanks to Ian for suggesting it. Charles brings us the next... Uh, the next game... I am unsure if this is like a combo cartridge or not, though. I meant to research this and did not. Um, because there is Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, and there is Sesame Street ABC, and then there is Sesame Street ABC and 1, 2, 3, which is what Charles suggested. So we're going to see, okay, does this have Astro, Grover, and Ernie's Magic Shapes in it? Did Rare do this? <laughs> yes, apparently Rare did this. Okay, so this has... Th okay, so, so this has the four games that are part of the other... So then... I see. Okay. So we're not going to do we're not going to do the ABC and 1 2 3 kind of combo cart thing. We're going to we're going to do these games separately. Um because we we're not going to do Mario and Duck Hunt and then Mario and Duck Hunt and track, you know, world track whatever. Um for the for the same reason, so we'll do uh, we'll do A B C here today. Sweep in the clouds. Uh, I like that we get to sing along. Any direction I hit on the D-pad just goes back and forth up and down this list. Okay, the D-pad changes speeds. How long do you think it took Rare to make these? What was Bert? Just Bert? Just jump out? I just hit hit the button when the A is at the bottom. Oh, okay. I see. Bert is jumping up to refill the wheel. Got it. We rang the bell. Okay. Hi. 
weird, uh, no background layer cookie monster is here to jump around. <laughs> There's something, Cookie Monster, seeing Cookie Monster's, like, full body, I think, is really, um, lurid. Hey, some fireworks. We're having a great time here. I feel like my daughter is already too old for this, like, she would... She would probably be bored, but like she needs, she needs something to help her get better and better at controllers. And the way that this kind of, how do I, okay. I'm spelling bag. I don't give a fuck. Bonus. I should get bonus. Cookie and Cookie Monster is back. These are good dances. This is making me long for the subtle uh, charms of Where's Waldo. You know, if I had to find Cookie Monster in the subway. That rare I, I like that rare did this I also like that like as soon as you fire it up and hear the music you're like this is rare like rare I de rare definitely did this didn't they also though like this is so fucking like every one of these has the same background like like there's not a lot of music here in this section i feel like this would like lose a child's interest really quickly because of just how sterile and quiet a lot of it is what This game's broken. What the hell? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. It's rare made it, so... Uh, well, all right. Okay, this one is actually fucked up now. Like, there's nothing wrong with the word some...
really slow it down to make sure we get the right letter this time. There. I give up. I don't know what. What? Hum. Come on. Hum. Whatever. Whatever. Disgusting. Time to spell the secret word. What? Okay, so you're. You know, I have like no hints at all. Is it just? This is just, I, I don't know, these modes uh, this don't seem great. Indeed. Is there no way out of? Okay, well, we'll, we'll reset it here. It's time for Ernie's big splash. Whoa. Ernie's challenge, Ernie's fun challenge, and Ernie's super challenge. We'll start with Ernie's challenge. Whoa. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay. How's Ernie making those splashes? All right, look. Took the boat over there. And we rain down. And we got a ride on that ball. We made it. What? What? Why is it going back? The duck was like, man, fuck you, Ernie. You ain't shit. I'm taking the boat back.
It didn't do that last time. Okay. Let's try Ernie's fun challenge, because that one... You just kind of have to rotate through all of like you don't you know it's not like a back and forth where if I go too far I can then come back to it. it it's just like if you tap the D-pad it does the thing and you're kind of just stuck making it wrap around again. Oscar, everybody. This is a fun... This is fun. That's why I went through it twice. It's Oscar again, everybody. Yay! We did it. Let's try Ernie's super challenge. Is Grover shitting? Punished Grover over here. Grover turns his back to you. He doesn't want to see you. Okay. Well, that's Ernie's big splash. And that's Sesame Street ABC. I don't think that's, uh, I don't think there's a lot there to that. Um, like the, the Ferris wheel letter thing feels very not, not very, not great. feels very not great. Um, I, I do like, I, I do think that Ernie's big splash is like a fun little thing in terms of just like, you know, having your little pipe dream layout and different little animations and, and all of that sort of stuff. Like that's, that's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't really have anything at all to do with letters. So, but it's probably a better learning game than the one with the letters. We were trying to spell perfectly valid words and it wasn't taking them. So I, I think the dictionary in that game is abysmal. Um, I, I, that, that seems like a, a kind of loosely insulting kids game. The controls are, are meant to be like, uh, you know, the, the D pad, any direction on it moves the cursor in and not in the direction that you are necessarily moving in it just turns the d-pad into just another button I, and i see why they would try to do that for little kids and trying to make that happen um but <clears throat> yeah it's it's not it's not it's not great it's not great but like i you know Like when we think about the games near the bottom of the list here.
this is where we have to separate the science out, right? Because like, where's Waldo is more of a game than this is, but I'll put it to you this way. I think it's worse than Fisher Price Firehouse Rescue, which has just like a little bit more going on. Um, I would rather play Sesame Street, uh, ABC than the Black Bass USA. Casino Kid is a worse game. But it's it's no treasure master. Okay. And so we have our new number 210. Congratulations to Sesame Street ABC. A better game than Casino Kid. Uh, and thanks to uh, Charles for uh, suggesting that one. We're going to move on. Nick suggested the next one. Uh, this is another... Another arcade port. And I, I don't think I was aware that this existed on the NES. Um, this is a game I didn't see until emulation became a uh, thing. But this is Rainbow Islands, the story of Bubble Bobble 2. This is not actually Bubble Bobble 2, it's merely the story of Bubble Bobble 2. This color palette looks crappy. <laughs> okay. 1991. This has a, yeah, this has a... Big diamonds. What up, big diamonds? Not much, just pimping, baby. Let me tell you about a game that I've never been good at. It's Rainbow Islands. Whoa, whoa. Oh, look at you stumbled into a bubble wobble stage. All of a sudden. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's still still scrolling, huh? Okay. Oh, now we've got double rainbow. All the way. That's great. Goal in. Audio is very scratchy sounding in this. Did I just get something that just murders everybody? Wow, 
Why is the why is the word rainbow? Am I missing letters? Do I have to collect those letters? Is that like a little signpost, or is it just broken? Goal in. Oh, oh. One of my least favorite things about Bubble Bobble and this game as well is the idea of like, oh, here's a bunch of stuff and like, you're not gonna have time to get it. This feels like a game I'm going to want to stop playing the minute I lose these power-ups. Nice. Oh, I spelled rainbow, okay. Do I get a, a extra Mr. Do for spelling the word, or what? Finding this to be a little boring. Got some kind of murder balls. Bobby, Bobby, I'll give you a big diamond. Here. Bobby took the big red diamond. What do you want to do next? I want to talk. Gosh, I was caught by the enemy when I fell. Oh, well, you're really a goof off. I was worried. It's like goofus and gallant, but Bobby and Bubby. something good. This transceiver works in er areas one, four, and five. If you collect the diamonds in all seven colors, something wonderful will happen. What's the wonderful thing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just Bobby, baby. Oh, 
Okay. This is, I, yeah, I, I. So I guess, you know, like also I am, I am not uh, a person who holds even bubble bobble in like grand reverence. So like this kind of like sub subble bobble kind of thing, I, I'm a little extra not here for it. It's just Oops, oops, oops. Gotta get that star. Maybe something will happen. Okay. I guess I always thought that maybe there was more to this game than there is, and maybe that's just a factor of this being the NES port, but... I always thought that Rainbow Islands had a little bit more going on than this. Yeah, this this uh, this game is like bumming me out. It's not you know it's not bad like it, it's perfectly fine. It, it's uh, in the context of the NES. I, I'm I'm thinking like hey, there's a lot of things you could be doing other than this. I don't care about these little diamonds, I only care about big diamond. When it comes to big diamond, I want to get. made it. Somehow. Somehow we made it. I'm not finding as many letters this time, and I don't know what... I don't know where the letters even come from, so... Okay. Maybe we should fight the second boss, so we're probably not too far off from that, right? This is the fourth stage. You know, we could see what, what Bobby's been up to. Right. Can't jump or else they fall down. Oh, see? Like that. So I screwed it all up. Stupid me. No! I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game now. It's official. a window. Can't stand on it. What? Okay, I guess that thing was just trapped. It wasn't actually... Ugh. 
Yeah, like a bunch of sound effects, you know, like, yeah, nothing, there's no sound when you pick that thing up, and now we've got, now we've got slow single rainbows, and I move slow, and ugh. And somehow it's way worse. Okay, at least we're moving fast again. Ugh. Yeah, just the, the very concept of like, hey man, you had to jump up to get an enemy, but then that made all your rainbows come crashing down and now you're falling all the way. Like, that, this isn't fun. This isn't fucking fun. That's not like a good time. It's not like, yay, I'm solving the amazing puzzle of the rainbows. Like, this is... Screw that up. Choppy. Attack. Choppy. 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 Yeah, I, I got used to playing with all those power-ups and now going back to base level. The ultimate test. Choppy. Damn it, Choppy. So am I just safe here in the corner then? Okay. Oh, we didn't even get any big diamonds. What the? Well, I'm just screwed now. Is it because I didn't spell rainbow? Why don't I get the big diamonds? Fucking devils here shooting fire. Well, what's the point of even, even playing now? Clearly, I'm not going to be able to get all the diamonds. I don't... Uh, this is... Shoe. 
once you get Shu, like, the game is slightly more playable. Ah, oh, you... I gotta get up there and get this stupid necklace. Does those do something sometimes, seemingly? This level is dark, man. So those are not spikes that kill me. I wish they would. Yeah, this is, I don't know, you know, I, I know that the arcade version of this is, is like a, a better game. Uh, but I can't say that I'm, like, a fan of that either. Whoa, it's, like, chiller in here. Let me plug in the light gun. was fire. I'll give it to him. That was fire. And that was fire. I was going to say, like, that guy has stopped moving in a way that says, I'm going to shoot you soon, and then he didn't. Uh, no, I'm good. We're good. We're good. We got our one big diamond. Um. I think viewed through the lens as this is the follow-up to Bubble Bobble, um, Rainbow Islands becomes even crazier. But I think mechanically, it's just really strange, you know? Like, the the... And it's similar, right? You're you're kind of replacing the bubbles with um, rainbows, right? And you can kind of capture the enemies in the in the rainbow and then stomp on them to cram them down that way, or just hit them again and then kill them that way. Um, so in some ways, the rainbows are have more versatility than the bubbles do, but it's the same basic idea. You know, you can stand on the bubbles to get to higher places. You can stand on the rainbows to get to higher places. So it really feels like they just like sat down and said, like, what could we do that wasn't bubbles? And they're like, I don't know, man, fucking rainbows. And like, okay, yeah. Sometimes you can see a rainbow inside of a bubble. So makes sense. Bubby and Bobby are here, not in dinosaur form. That's thrilling. But yeah, I don't Rainbow Island's just a weird, I don't know. It, the pantheon of stuff they did with Bub and Bob. Um, not, a, not a great game. I know some people hold that arcade game in, in high regard. Um, not me, man. So, Rainbow Islands. Also, like a relatively late release, right? That was like... Like 91 or something. Right? Fire, fire it up again real quick here. Yeah, 91. So like 91 for a port of 
Rainbow Islands. It's just like, bleh. Um, and not a great port of it on top of that. So I, I think, you know, it is, it is less successful than Bubble Bobble for sure. Um, I think across the board, but also this port, I think is less effective than even the not astounding port of the first game. Um, and so, you know, I, th I think we end up in this kind of this, you know, this kind of dragon power ballpark, maybe like it, it's, it's, it's not as good as G.I. Joe, a real American hero. It's not as good as Battletoads. It's not as good as Gremlins 2. It's not as good as Dragon Power. But what about Kid Clown in Nightmare World? Is Rainbow Islands better than that? Like, hmm. Hmm. No, it's, uh, it's no Captain Skyhawk. You'd be better off with Mock Rider. You'd be better off with Skate or Die. Uh, you'd be better off with the Karate Kid. You'd be better off with Krusty's Funhouse and Marble Madness. Uh, but This is really where we're at here. Um, is it better or worse than Jurassic Park? Because it's better than Dick Tracy. Um, you know what? It's worse than Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park has some weird ambitions going for it. And also, you know, the, the music kind of kind of cool. Uh, so that puts us right there. Okay, and so our new number 165 is Rainbow Islands. Congratulations to the rainbows and the islands, and thanks to Nick for suggesting it. Let's move on. Sean suggested the next game. I don't know what this is. It's always dangerous when I go in with like zero uh, knowledge of what a thing is because I'm worried that I'm going to fire it up and just be like, oh, it's a light gun game and I'm not prepared for, for that or, or whatever. But I'm pretty sure that's not the case here. I, I really don't know what this is. I really don't. Ah, what the hell? It's called Ghoul School from Electro Brain. All right, American flag. Up, uh, up. Uh. Oh, very cinematic opening. Look at the realism. All right, a Gary Kitchen joint. I, I don't know I don't know what to expect here. Oh. Okay, can't crouch. Oh, ghoul school. Got it. This one jumps. The range on this uh, bat, I suppose, is uh, really bad. This this is uh, oh jeez. Great. Okay, if we push down, we can jump off of things. Bat sneakers. Okay, yeah, I mean. Oh, 
I see. Maybe we need to go the other way. Alright, we killed an evil television and got an apple. Or maybe the television wasn't evil, maybe it's just a television. Oh, this one moves back and forth and he jumps. This is like... Skill check! Big time. of the way you get hit you get knocked up onto the desk and then you get bounced around it's, it's a terrible this i'm having a terrible time congratulations uh for going in here you lost most of your health and here's an apple that doesn't give you enough of it back Like, all of these rooms are just like, here's an apple and some enemies that you could probably skip. Unless the goal is to kill them all, which it hasn't. Okay, I feel like that would have hit if it was going to hit. Okay, yeah, I can't swing low, so that's uh, just going to kill. Okay, I can... I can movement's not good enough for me to jump from desk to desk. Uh, and the bat is... It... I, uh... Let's try... Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck this. What? The eventual story is going to be like, no, the guys with the giant eyeballs are your friends and you've been killing them this whole time. Freaking ODST out here. Oh, stop walking, stupid. Why do I keep going in these rooms?
Does everything respawn? Doesn't look like it does. I'll, you know, I'll give it that. Well, no, maybe there were just bats in this area. To begin with, so maybe that's not a... This, the, the run animation doesn't look good. Like, I... I th there's... The game's got a, a, a style to it of sorts, but I... I... Okay, so it looks like I could go down here. Looks like a, a office door of some sort. Maybe there's nope, or an elevator, I guess. I am having a bad time with this. This is uh. Fuck you, fuck this. Just checking. I forgot which way I was going. I'm going left, right? Yeah. Hey, uh, eyeball monster, what's in this classroom? Something cool, I hope. Oh, it's not something cool? Look at we got all these options here. What's in here? Oh, it's an apple. Look, we got three ways to go out of this. This school is confusing. Room 001, there should be something here, right? I mean, that seems like an important room number. Here we're on room 52. Inside that TV was another apple. This game has the vibe of a game that, um, that they wanted to turn into a cartoon. And they're like, th this has like the, the a, a, like transmedia vibe to it. That they're like, this is going to be a, a cartoon and a, and a video game and then uh, action figures and, and 
Wait, so that was the the main room of the school again. So that that means I've been. I just didn't go straight last time. So where haven't I been? There was an. I could go down over here. I think as well. No. Maybe I had. I hadn't been up. Here, yeah. there was one area, like one staircase back here that I hadn't taken. Maybe it's that I hadn't gone down. Yeah. Well. Okay. We're getting into different colored areas. Fuck it. range on this is such a shitty, so shitty, dude. Like, are you fucking with me? Like, th this seems impossible. Oh. This is like, as boss fight music vibes. You're, and you're not a ghoul. I've never been more frightened than I am of these murderous basketballs. throwing weights at me and like i don't i don't feel like i have like you know do i just have to like run for it and then run back and get like the stick and move nature of all of this combat fucking sucks this fucking sucks oh i guess i can i can do that huh It still fucking sucks.
I need different shoes, clearly. Otherwise, why would they have shoes be a selectable thing in the inventory? Without the spring shoes, what am I supposed to do, you know? Oh. Apparently... Apparently there was an item there. Look at how these points I'm getting. Look at all these points I'm getting. Now we're having a good time. Look at this number going up. It's still going. A friggin' gun? I feel like this has not made the game better, <laughs> but we'll see how the gun ends up functioning. I lack the patience to deal with these basketballs a second time. We're, it's, we're having a good time. I'll think about it this way, you know, when you hold down the fire button, it interrupts the music a little bit, and uh, that's nice. hit the fucking bats doesn't look like you can leave me alone Turn this off. I don't, I can't. I don't, this is. Okay, so that's where we were with the. You guys having fun? You guys like video games? At least in Hydelight, I was, like, gaining levels for, you know, the combat, you know, the... This is a game that, uh, you know, like, there, there's, 
you know, it's kind of an open worldy sort of Metroid-ish kind of deal, right? There's a little bit of search action up in here, but, uh, but also, it's fucking terrible. So yeah, here, here would be like, if we came here before we got the shoes, then we would be asked out. We lucked into going the right way to where the first time we saw like some kind of high jump, it ended up being where the shoes were anyway. Up or down. It's fun to have this thing chasing you. It's a good time. This is a good time across the board. This is just a good, it's just good. I guess I could, you know, like fake him out that way. Oh, oh, I can fucking solid snake my, this shit. To what end? It's not like they go away. This is why we came. To tell these fuckers to fuck off. What a taser? The spinal zap. I, I like the, yeah, the, the the sprites are big. I don't think I like the look of much of them. Uh, but they are. So will spring shoes save me here? No. In case you were wondering, no. Maybe we need stilts or something to cross that gap. What does game over in this in this game mean? That's another interesting question that suddenly uh, we have to consider. Fuck you. Oh, okay. All right, if I can one shot these guys, that's an improvement. Does it, what about these guys? Okay. You gotta get up close, but it does the damage. about the gun. Nope. Just a fat Medusa here. I assume this is like the end of the game. Right? I mean... It would make sense. I like that when you're wearing the spring shoes that you don't, like it doesn't shrink down to get in the locker, like. Thanks, Sean, for suggesting Ghoul School. I, um, I like an open world. I like uh, I like that in a conceptual way. But like the weapon ranges the. Here's a gun, but it does no damage. And here's a thing that does a ton of damage, but the range on it is like short. It, it's fine. Like, hey, short range weapon that does a ton of damage makes sense in the context of the other stuff. But like, 
None of it feels good. None of that combat feels good at all. The shoe stuff is bad. The layout of the school and how meaningless so many of those rooms are is really sh like shocking. It's just not it's not fun to play at all. Like the the core movement of the player, like trying to get up on those desks and get moving, like they ramp up to full speed so that you can do the jumping you need to do doesn't feel good. Um, I, I really don't like the look of it. There's something about the size of the sprites and such that you can go like, well, there's something technical about this that you can appreciate. Uh, but I, the look of the main character feels like super unfinished, especially compared to some of the ghouls, um, which have just a lot more detail. Um, I'd say overall it's, it's a, it's a fairly miserable experience like to play, like it, it feels awful. Um, it, it just, it feels, it feels really bad. And I, I think that's, that's probably got to be it. it's, it's biggest problem. Um, where does that put it on our list? Not high, not high, just staring at it right now. I would, uh, much rather play Krusty's fun house. When it comes to creepy games, Fester's quest is a better experience. You'd be better off playing Street Fighter 2010, The Final Fight. But, eh, yeah, yeah, it's worse than Red. Okay, yeah, let's, let's think this through. Worse than the Three Stooges? Sure. Worse than Renegade? Definitely. Worse than Street Fighter 2010, The Final Fight? Yes. Worse than Robo Warrior? Is it worse than Robo Warrior? It might not. Mm, I don't, mm, mm. I'll tell you, it is not worse than Star Wars. It is not worse than Raid on Bungling Bay, a game a game I love. Raid on Bungling Bay. So it's better than Star Wars, is it? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is it worse than Turtles? Turtles is fucking really bad, but like a lot more playable and like direct in some sick way than this is. So yeah, I guess I guess I'd rather play Turtles. That's a, a disgusting sentence to say out loud, but here we are. Oh. God. Ghoul School is our new number one eight seven. Thank you, Gary Kitchen for a lot of the other great games you made. Yikes. And uh, thanks to Sean for suggesting that. Um, we're going back to back with games that I have never heard of. So I had never heard of Ghoul School before assembling this list yesterday. And now um, next up is a game suggested by Michael. Michael. And uh, this doesn't this this doesn't seem like a real product, but and yet somehow it is. It's a game called Arquista's Ring. Nothing, not do nothing. Never. I thought for sure that this had to be a Japanese only release or something when it, when I saw it being suggested because I was like, "There's just I, that that's not a game." That's not an NES game. I've never heard of it. Okay. All right. Stage one. What kind of game? Okay. It's a game that has stages. We know that much. All right. 
So it's a hide light like. We can pause the action to go to our inventory. From your good friends at American Sammy. They should have they should have kept calling it American Sammy. Sega American Sammy. Alright, you fuckface, come on. Can I shoot this fire? Okay, we got, uh... Oh, oh well, okay. Well, great, I'm glad we... Glad we used our lightning bolt against no enemies. Oh, oh, I guess we must have killed some. Wait, I guess it kills off screen. Stage two. Oh, okay. Was that an extra life or what? Do we need to walk into the volcano? No. We've killed enough enemies to make a key appear. So that's a thing, apparently. Like the key list slips into the UI between those hearts down there. So like, shh, here's the key. Someone said it, you, if you can hit select between stages, and you can. It's Christine. Christine's uh, an elf. And she's from Arkista. And in her pouch is a cure potion. Good to know. Some of the some of this movement could maybe be a little bit better. Ah, whoa! That guy was like, "Check me out." Cross arrow. Didn't seem to do much of anything. We got another one. Oh, okay. Don't walk on the holes. Got it. Here for the key. Holy stick and fire wand. Holy stick. Didn't that did not go my way? Oh, okay, that refilled my health. That's handy. This 
is really good music. This is really good. Okay, we can't get up there because we don't have keys. Was there anyone down here left to kill? Okay. Got that long arrow. Okay, I was gonna try to get a look at what was going on here to see if... Oh, jeez! I pushed to the right, but it did not... It was not having it. Okay. Uh, I guess let's... Well, we can't go over there. This is the only way we can go. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we still have the key. I see. Okay. Oh! It's a fake! So what do we have now? Giant arrow? They're, the enemies are really good at just, like, fucking you up. You know, like, like standing in the, in just out of range to force you to come to them in a very specific way. And, and like, they're annoying. They're good at being annoying. Like, I have to... So, you know, to kill that guy, I need... Well... Why are there more slimes? And that skeletons, these skeletons are respawning? This is bad? Okay, still no key up there. Was that the last guy? Surely that must have spawned the key. Yes. Two holy sticks, a fire wand, giant arrows, short bow. Evil worms. expansion. This game has it all. This game's cool. Huh. Loading up. Oh, this fucker. Diagonally moving enemies is a really uh, evil thing.
was hoping for a healing potion somewhere in there. It's like, what am I so Okay, I guess I have to go around and go the other way. Because otherwise... I will get hit as soon as I push in that direction. This is a very straight... You know, I, well, straightforward maybe isn't even the word, but, you know, I, 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 but these like tight little levels, minor combat puzzle stuff, Enemies that generally are smart enough to not just walk into your shots. Though these scorpions are perhaps an exception to that. Scorpions are stupid. Uh, what? Some kind of fucking goo? What? Oh, jeez. Uh. Is it. Is it a holy. Okay. Elf arrow. I hope all these arrows are improvements. And I'm not, like, just getting bad arrows. Okay, we got a key for coming in. Was there a door down here that I'm not privy to, or do I need to just push on walls and stuff? I would call this game. But funky. Mm. Mm. My inventory is full. Okay. That's pretty good. I guess I just gotta use some stuff, huh? These enemies are fuckers. These these flying enemies are are uh super fucking annoying. <laughs> Leather armor, shield, and gauntlet. Okay. I, mean, I wonder if that means if I now do damage when I touch an enemy or something. Oh, 
I wonder what you would do there if you didn't have the items for it. Like, can I go back? I don't think so. Oh, there's a lot of them stacked up. That sucks. I don't need that, but there it is. So far, so good. Uh, we see this is yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't have any unless this kills him too. Yeah, no, I don't have anything to deal with that guy. Uh, let's take the damage to get the item. That was maybe not the smart move there. I don't know. I'm going to save my holy stick since he's just there chilling and not really causing a problem. I'll just run past him. I guess I got to take this damage again. Oh well. Unless there was a hidden wall or something. You keep expecting them to just walk down and take it, but they're, they don't. There we go. doorway down here or I got the key no okay so we gotta get on the other side of this oh yeah it's a tree in the uh, all right what are we holding Bunch of stuff. We got ourselves a key. I'm guessing we go back up and around that way. This 
game seems cool. Like, like not, you know... It's, it, it seems like a very straightforward thing. Um, tricky. I only get one hit in on him. Does that, does that actually kill him? Or is it doing any damage? Or does it just knock them down? I guess any invincible enemies like that that can only be felled by specific items are not part of the key requirement. That's how they that's how they manage that. But yeah, this is cool. I don't know. It, it's uh, it's nice. Why are these here? Okay. To where that skeleton is, but we can get up here. And I can probably walk around here to kill. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so I have to walk all the way back. But at least they provide a door so I don't have to, like, then walk all the way back again. enough. I don't know. I don't know how much more of this I need to see. This is the sort of stuff that I, you know, like, if, if there's a, something about this game that feels like it would be the downfall of it, it's that some of this enemy design and placement and movement is weird. Um, like having the, the diagonally moving enemies feels uh, annoying. Uh, let's just kill these fuckers. And get a bunch of free items. I wonder how many stages this game has. It feels like a game that could have like 30 or it could have like 200. 31? Okay. That's annoying. The bats are annoying. I guess it's good to have some enemies that are annoying, because otherwise the game kind of wouldn't have anything like that, would it? Oh, it's a friggin' vampire. Uh, uh, how about some of that for you? No? Oh, jeez. Like, Vampire 1. It's like, oh, okay. 1. Got it. rare in a video game that when you get a key 
I mean, I guess Doom, right? But like when you get a key, you can just open all the doors. And you don't have to go collect another key to try another door or anything nuts like that. I don't think they would put these guys here unless this was the way. But also, I don't know that... Uh, yeah, I don't have much to deal with them. See, there's no, like... So I have to go around here, then push up and then down to face that slime. I'm getting sloppy, but that's fine. I, I, I feel like, you know, pretty much seen what I need to see here, but... Uh... bugs. Oh. Friggin' golems. Ninjas? say it's probably the one with the enemy in it. Oh, that's what they wanted me to think. Ooh, more ninjas. Oh, that stupid. Oh, what? These ninjas really fuck you up, man. Those ninjas are not playing around. They do a lot of damage. Is this the, the ninja hole? Am I going to have to take damage to exit the level? I guess I've got the potions for it, so let's try it. UI getting jumpy. I didn't need to use that there. I could have waited. Ah, the ninjas do a bunch of damage, actually. Maybe, maybe I'm smart to... Maybe I'm smart, huh? Huh? Okay. Not this one, not this one, but this one. jerk face. Oh. Fire Wand, Thunder Wand, Ninja Stunner. Okay. Ninja Stunner. I got my Ninja Stunners on.
ultimate arrow. I don't like these things. Ninjas bouncing around like a fucking Bomberman power-up. Ninja. Get chopped. Fuck you. Hey, dickhead. Wow. That ninja was not fucking around. These ninjas, whatever. just uh, hitting magic to try to... Oh, wait. Is this going to work? Probably not, right? I wonder if I could have saved myself there with a potion. Seems like sometimes you get those bags and there's just nothing in them, which is... Oh man, I got careless there. Okay, that was health that I picked up there, that noise. Oh, let's uh, refill. Yay. with me, man. Ugh. It seems like when they're like in this like downward stance that they just don't take damage. Which seems, uh... Wow. 
Wow. Oh, there are, and there are more ninjas. Okay, great. Okay, there's some doors up here. Oh, gosh. Wow. Wow. Well, the door's open, so I, I can I can probably just go, huh? Not that I can fight all these ninjas up here, but like, no, holy magic, they don't care. Unfortunately, I'm nearly out of time. Like the the the, the this combat doesn't make sense because you kind of it, it's just it doesn't work. Like I'm sitting there hitting them, but it's not working. You know what I mean? Like, are they blocking with their sword out? Is that what that is? This is miserable. What? Uh, this is unfortunate. Guess I shouldn't have used that one ninja stunner, huh? Got one now. That doesn't last very long at all, does it? It's you're, it's really fucked. It's really fucked. I mean, it'd be a waste to even use it here. key, so we at least got back to that phase of this, but...
it's sad. You know, this is like a nice little game. Uh, you know, we could have could have probably done different things to uh, find some difficulty. You know. This is, uh... Fucked. We gotta get, we gotta rate this game. I gotta go. Uh, it's late. I gotta do, I got, I got kids stuff I gotta do, unfortunately, so. So that's, <laughs> that's it for Arquista's Ring. That's a cool game. I would like to see the end of it someday. Um, yeah, and they only give you 10 continues, and you don't need any of them until you get to, apparently, the second to last stage. That's, uh, really... It's a really unfortunate thing. That's a uh, that's a bummer. I I was uh, really enjoying that, and then uh, and then suddenly no. Um, so I, I you know I think we're thinking about it. Is it's no rock and cats. Um, you'd be better off served by Jackie Chan's action kung fu. But it's probably you know like there's it, it's cool. It just I take it over Doctor Chaos. Um, hmm. Hmm. It's no section Z, I suppose. But, but almost purely because of that difficulty spike, this would be a much uh, higher game, I think, if it, if it hadn't been for the way they decided to do that, um, you know, a more natural ramp would have certainly helped. It's no journey to Silius. Mm, it's no ice climber. It's better than that port of snow bros though. Right. Hmm. It's better than road blasters. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's better than cowboy kid. better than Cowboy Kid. That's, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. That could have been, uh, just a nice little thing. Just a, a breezy little, uh, little thing there, but it will be our new number 75. Congratulations to Arquista's Kid. Uh, Arquista's Ring? Arquista's Ring. Not Cowboy Kid. That's going to do it for me here. I got to get going. Uh, have yourself a great weekend, and we'll be back on Tuesday with the podcast. And uh, what are we up to here? We got uh, 229 games. Man. All right. We did not get to Rampage and Monster in My Pocket. So we'll, uh, we'll be sure to get to those next week. And uh, until then, I'll see you soon.